deep luxury. The show where we take a deep dive in all things luxury. Today we'll be talking about a man who probably has more cars than he does fingers. A man who's so rich he could use hundred dollar bills as toilet paper and still come out smelling like roses. Yes, we're talking about the one and only Cristiano Ronaldo, aka CR7, which is to play on his initials and jersey number to the uninitiated. The man who's got more houses than the Monopoly guy. But hey, we're not here to judge. We're here to revel in the sheer ridiculousness of it all. So sit back, relax, and grab a glass of champagne, or water if you're like us, and let's take an exclusive look at the glamorous life of Cristiano Ronaldo. Trust us, it's gonna be a wild ride. But first, let's talk about his contract with a new football club. Ronaldo parted ways with Manchester United following an internal dispute. But just when everyone thought his career was on the decline, he goes ahead and signs what's being dubbed as the biggest deal in football history. Who did he sign with, you ask? None other than Al Nasser, a Saudi Arabian club that's apparently willing to shell out some serious cash for the football superstar. And speaking of cash, Ronaldo's net worth was already sky high in 2022, at over $500 million. But with this new contract, which promises an annual salary of $200 million, his value is expected to soar even higher. By the end of 2023, Ronaldo could be worth an insane $700 million. That's enough to make Scrooge McDuck jealous, for sure. But hey, let's not forget the actual football part of this equation. Ronaldo's got his work cut out for him over the next couple of years with Al Nasser, as this two-and-a-half-year contract won't end until June of 2025. Will he be able to live up to the hype and deliver on the field? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, Ronaldo's bank account is looking pretty sweet right about now. After signing this contract, he is now the highest paid soccer player in history. The Al Nasser club added to the excitement in the Middle East by posting a photo of Ronaldo, holding up the team's jersey on social media. And it looks like Ronaldo is living the high life in Raidia. The football superstar is currently kicking back in the kingdom suite at the Four Seasons Hotel. And let me tell you, it's no ordinary hotel room. This thing spans two floors and 17 rooms. That's right, 17 rooms. And if that's not impressive enough, the suite also boasts some seriously stunning views of the city from the 48th and 50th floors. But it's not just the views that are worth bragging about. The living room alone is probably bigger than most people's entire apartments. And there's even a private office for Ronaldo to get some work done, if he ever feels like it. And let's not forget about the grand dining room, where he can chow down on some of the best dishes from Japan, India, China, and the Middle East. Talk about living the ultimate foodie dream. And there's more, of course. The hotel's actually situated within a mall that's home to luxury shops like Louis Vuitton. So if Ronaldo ever needs to do some shopping, he doesn't even have to leave the building. And when he's done with all that retail therapy, he can hit up the tennis courts or indulge in a massage treatment at the spa. There's even a sauna and steam room for total relaxation. It's safe to say that Ronaldo is definitely not roughing it in Riyadh. The $200 million payout from the deal includes all of Ronaldo's sponsorships and partnerships. He also makes a whopping $60 million from his matches. And it's hard to forget about all the millions he earns from promoting brands like Nike, Herbalife, and Tag Heer, being one of the most marketable athletes in the world. In fact, Nike was so impressed with Ronaldo's skills, both on and off the field, that they signed him to a lifetime contract worth a cool $1 billion. That's billion, with a B, as in Bradley. And it doesn't stop there. Ronaldo also owns his own company called CR7, which sells everything from shoes and perfume to undergarments and accessories, while also having his own line of hotels called CR7 Hotels. And with a massive following of 565 million people on Instagram, making him the most followed person on IG at the time of this video, he reportedly charges a million dollars for every single post he puts up. That's right, just one post on IG can earn him a casual $47 million a year. So with all of that cheese rolling in, you might be wondering how on earth does Ronaldo spend his money? Well, that's a good question. With his lavish lifestyle and multiple business ventures, it's safe to say that he's living the higher than high life. But hey, if you've got it, flaunt it, right? First up is his real estate empire. It goes without saying that this guy knows how to live in style. I mean, the guy's got mansions in multiple countries. 
let's take a tour of a few of the living quarters of CR7, his long-term partner Georgina Rodriguez, and their five beautiful children. Starting with his first purchase, a $7.1 million house in England. Not bad for a first-time buyer, huh? This three-story home comes with all the bells and whistles, a steam room, a private movie theater, an indoor pool, and a gym. Ronaldo also owns two modern villages in Turin, located at the top of a hill in Strada San Vito Revillasco. The villas are wrapped with large glass windows and doors, providing his family with a picturesque view of the city. Interiors are made of luxurious polished marble. Adding to that, he also drops $7 million on the most expensive apartment ever sold in Lisbon. This place has it all. A spa, a long terrace overlooking the city, a gym as well, and even a rooftop pool. Perfect for hosting some wild after parties, am I right? It's also worth mentioning his native Portugal home, where he has an exquisite seven-story palace in Madeira. He converted a former warehouse into this luxurious palace for about $8 million. And of course, it wouldn't be a Ronaldo property without a rooftop pool with an incredible view of the ocean. And currently living there are his mother and brother. Up next is his collection of luxury cars. Ah, Cristiano Ronaldo's car collection. It's the stuff dreams are made of, or maybe just the stuff that makes us feel a little inadequate. This football superstar sure knows how to treat himself. With luxury cars worth over $24 million, you can't help but wonder what it's like to take a ride in one of these beauties. The Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a personal favorite, is now worth $12 million, having appreciated quite nicely since he bought in 2019 for a mere $360,000. Not to mention the Mercedes G-Wagon Brabus, five Ferraris, and the McLaren Senna that are also part of his collection. But when you turn 36 and you're Cristinato Ronaldo, you don't just celebrate with the cake. You purchase one of the 10 Bugatti Cento DC models in existence. With a top speed of 236 miles per hour, it's no wonder Ronaldo's car collection is worth more than most people's entire life savings. Moving onward to his private jet. A private jet, yes, the ultimate symbol of extravagance. Because why fly commercial when you can have your very own flying palace? And of course, Ronaldo couldn't resist the urge to own one too. In 2015, he splurged $25 million on a Gulfstream G200. With a top speed of 900 kilometers per hour and enough space to fit 10 people, he can now soar through the skies in style. I guess with his obscene amounts of money, why not make every trip a luxurious one, yeah? Next is his yacht. As it seems, Ronaldo just couldn't resist adding a super yacht to his already impressive list of possessions. The Azimut Grande 27M is a true masterpiece, with a sleek and elegant design that turns heads wherever it sails. And with the reported price tag of $7 million, this yacht is not just any ordinary boat. The interior decor of the yacht is nothing short of luxurious, with every detail thoughtfully crafted to create an atmosphere of opulence and comfort. The yacht boasts a spacious living area, a fully equipped kitchen, and four comfortable cabins that can accommodate up to 10 guests. Ronaldo and his family can surely relax in style and comfort while cruising the waters in this thing of beauty. It's not just the interior that's impressive, though. The yacht also has plenty of outdoor space for entertaining and relaxation, with a large sun deck, a dining area, and a swimming platform for taking a refreshing dip in the ocean. Overall, it's clear that Ronaldo doesn't settle for anything less than the best. With a private jet, luxury cars, and a mesmerizing super yacht at his fingertips, Ronaldo is practically a one-man royal fleet. And of course, his jewelry. It's no secret that Cristinato Ronaldo likes to indulge in the finer things in life, and his taste in jewelry is no exception. The footballer certainly is a player for accessorizing, and he's been spotted wearing some of the most splendid and expensive timepieces around. His Frank Muller diamond-covered timepiece is just one example of the extravagant jewelry pieces he likes to sport. But he doesn't just buy for himself. He also loves to spoil his partner, Georgina Rodriguez, with expensive bracelets and rings. Her bracelet collection is said to be worth well over $3 million. He also reportedly gave this Spanish model a $725,000 engagement ring, along with a $130,000 Louis Vuitton jewelry box. The ring is emblazoned with a large sapphire stone and encrusted with diamonds. Nothing says I love you more than splashing out on priceless jewelry for the future Mrs. Ronaldo. And lastly, his charity efforts. Ronaldo has donated large portions of his wealth to humanitarian efforts. 
The football superstar has also shown a big heart when it comes to giving back. He's involved in a number of charities and organizations including World Vision, UNICEF, Save the Children, Red Cross, and Make-A-Wish. One of his most remarkable efforts includes selling one of his most distinguished awards, the Golden Boot, which is given to the top scorer in Europe at the end of each season. The funds built multiple schools in Gaza. In 2017, he also did this with an award that recognizes the best player of the year. These funds went on to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Furthermore, he's donated nearly 1 million euros to hospitals in Portugal to supply beds, ventilators, fans, and infusion pumps. It's clear that while he enjoys the upscale comforts in life, he also understands the importance of using his wealth to make a positive impact on the world. To sum it up, Cristiano Ronaldo is an exceptional athlete and philanthropist. He's a true renaissance man. With the ability to score a goal on the field and score points with his humanitarian efforts off the field, he could have easily spent his days lounging on a yacht and counting his millions. But instead, he's dedicated a part of his life to making the world a better place. It's like he's got a superhero complex or something, except instead of wearing a cape, he wears a soccer jersey. But all joking aside, Ronaldo's generosity and compassion are truly admirable. He's the kind of person who reminds us that fame and fortune don't have to be a burden, but rather a platform for doing the greater good. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you ever find yourself in need of a role model, just look to the guy who kicks a ball around for a living. Until next time.